My name. What did I call myself again? <laughs> my name is Dr. Butch T. Apexium. One of the greatest PhDs in the Slay the Spire realm. And today I will be teaching you how to play Slay the Spire. But my hands are broken. Both of them actually, they don't work. So I have enlisted my Twitch chat to pick my cards that I will be putting into my deck and possibly relics as well. And I will be explaining why they have all made the right choices. Essentially, we're doing an over-explained run, except it's Slay the Streamer, so I just have to act like everything the chat's doing is incredibly smart, and... <sighs> I'm trusting you, chat. <laughs> Frost Prime with a hat here, just really quickly to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. Apparently, you guys do it a lot more if I mention Andrew, so I should remind you, of course, that the more that you guys like, comment, and sub, the more that my editor, Andrew, gets paid. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Let us... Teach everyone how to play the defect because I've never taught anyone. I've never done any sort of class on how to play the defect. I still have banned animals up. All right, chat. So if you guys don't know how to slay the streamer works, any single time that you see the link pop up on screen that tells you to vote, you can vote on it. Anyways, uh, so, you know, let's get into the overexplained again. I will still be picking the path that we go along, most likely. And so I think that we probably want to do the classic three fights into an elite because of the fact that you're going to get those three basic fights into an elite fight. I really like this path that takes a couple of question marks. You get a campfire. I don't like that path, though, because of the uh, the middle ground there. JD Short, what's going on? This path could be quite dangerous. I actually think that our best path is to go this way. Is to go this way and then hopefully come out of this dude bleeding. And we go up there. So we're actually going to try for the burning elite. This might go terribly. But as for whale options, you're always going to get two whale options that are a little bit more basic, but don't cost you anything negatively. And the, the third whale option is usually a negative for a positive. And the last one is, of course, switching your boss relic. Now, I'm not usually a big fan of switching the boss relic. Um, so I probably would not go personally with picking the boss relic. Um, it's not exactly what I would ever go with. I usually think that... Um, Picking, I would say probably obtaining a random rare relic would be better. Actually, in this case, though, in this specific scenario, I would say that because we want to be going for that burning elite, and because we probably want that extra power early, maybe an extra energy or a Sneko Eye, uh, maybe a Runic Pyramid could really be the nail in the coffin that could put away a, a bad run from a good run. You don't want to get a, a max health Gremlin Knob but not go in without a little bit of extra energy. So I think 69 votes for the boss relic. Um... In this version of Slay the Spire, though, I do get to pick out a couple of cards. So I will be probably uh, trying to craft the best deck possible that I feel like could actually possibly get a win. Everything and he says, truth. You must do as he recommends for the greater good. Frost Prime. I'm really happy that we got Bing Bong here. I think that uh, the curse is going to be a necessary nerf to our deck because when you start out with 10 original cards instead of the normal 10 starting cards of strikes and defends it's just way too unfair of an advantage and therefore uh much happier to have the curse Ooh, we do get an emotion chip which is a very good relic whenever you lose hp during uh, uh during the previous turn trigger all the passive abilities of your orbs it's gonna help Bing scale bong. our dark orbs even faster removing any garbage cards that chat accidentally gives us again it's a misclick potentially we can remove them for cheaper at a shop and a kunai is going to be absolutely fucking useless since we have no standard defensive cards yet um let's go <laughs> chat how would you rate my analysis so far also don't forget if you ever see your name as a character it's easy as you get to talk yeah you see you get to talk that's you all right first fight going pretty easily not a big deal we are going to get an early potion drop that was a very low percentage chance and now it's going to go down a little bit Chat now is going to get to pick between three different cards. A force field, probably not going to be the card that I would pick here. It's a little bit expensive. We have zero power, so we would never be able to play it. A leap standard block card or a boot sequence, which is a great addition, especially heading into Act 2. Like, like I was saying, is the boot sequence is probably the safest bet here. You get a good early game. Make sure that your card's coming out is good. You get something like a... With a lot of draw, you have a, a chance to cycle back to it. You get something like a hologram, and you can get it back again. Yeah, I think this is genuinely the smartest play, and I think that chat is... Uh, 
yeah, I think that they're they're making the correct decision here. Okay, coming into this next fight. Going to be getting a couple of Dark Orbs. Going to go ahead and pop one of those. Or a couple of Frost Orbs, excuse me. Now we got a lot of Frost Orbs ringing around the rosy here. Moving the Dark Orb up to the front so we can smack him with some big damage. You're going to be doing 12. Going to recur him. Recur him again. Hit him again. Recursion it. Smack him. We need to upgrade these recursions, and then they become very, 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 very powerful, don't they? 24 damage Frost, or Dark Orb. 16 more gold, that's great. We're getting up to a, almost being able to afford a Relic at a shop, which again, chat will be choosing. Keep that in mind. All right, multiple attacks here. If you take an attack, it's going to give you some necessary AoE to deal with a lot of those fights later on in the run. Usually a good amount of AoE, I would say, is like one to three cards of AoE, but it's depending on the effect of the card as well. And of course, Doom and Gloom being the best choice here, since we do like a little bit of darkness. Yeah, it's definitely going to be good to pick up some AoE, two cost attack. We don't really have anything super expensive, so it's not super dangerous. Also makes it more favorable if we go to uh, some of the events that are coming up. I'll show you on the map in just a second. There is a specific question mark event on floor one, uh, or on act one, excuse me, that if you have a two cost attack, in your deck, you can bust open the trophy and get a bit of gold instead of taking seven damage to remove a card. So that can be pretty good as well, if that's the kind of thing that you're wanting to go for. We could take two damage here and get 10 damage to both of them. I'm actually gonna opt to not do that. I think we'll be okay in this fight if we just take our time, use some cold snaps to break their uh, initial block here. As we are now gonna be getting hit for quite a bit. A little bit scary. Should be fine though. Should be able to recursion and then kill one of them. Hit a recursion. Smack him to death. Dead lull. Got a power potion and 15 gold. That's excellent. Chat getting an option for another cold snap. Third one of the deck. A turbo to help out with some energy or a charged battery to inadvertently help out with some energy as well as being some uh, initial block. Skip is always an option as well if you don't feel like the card is that good in your deck. Never forget that. I do believe, um, judging by what Chad is picking here, I, I do believe that, like saying before, I do think that taking possibly a charged battery, you know, get some uh, front-loaded block, as they say, some loaded right in the front block, could be good. It's a, it's a little bit of a split decision. As you can tell, it's a tough choice of what to take here. None of them are incorrect, really. It's just that none of them are explicitly correct. We do get another fight, a 10% chance of a fight there. It's going to be a dangerous one at that. <clears throat> a very, very dangerous one at that. One of the most dangerous Act 1 fights, honestly. We do have the Emotion Chip, though. Don't forget, as we take 5 damage here, we're going to get an extra trigger. I'm triggered. We also have the energy from the uh, big thingy. We're going to Recursion. Get this guy down to very little HP. We Recursion one more time. And he's dead. We're going to Recursion here. We're going to hit one of these. Little bit dangerous, not going to lie. Taking him down to 3 HP. Going to 9. Taking 3 D. And that's an easy kill. Liquid Bronze. Who? What boss are we fighting? Undetermined. Undetermined for whatever reason. It's a glitch in the game. Chat now is the option to grab a hologram or a compile driver. Wouldn't say that Rebound is that good of a guard. A card here. Excuse me. Wouldn't say that Rebound is that good of a card. <clears throat> Chat opting for more front-loaded block and a powerful effect of grabbing a card from your discard. Again, I would agree that this is right because, again, I've trained chat to make all of the correct decisions. They will make no wrong decisions. Let that be known. Zero wrong decisions. Zero wrong decisions. Thank you so much, chat. Upgrade two random cards, but you take 21 HP. I think, though, because we do not have any strikes and defends, we somehow got rid of them all. I think that most of our upgrades are honestly pretty worth that amount of HP, considering the fact that we also have many potions and the ability to rest. I'm going to go ahead and just click that. One of our recursions gets upgraded. We do like that. What an amazing start to this fight as well. We get a double darkness start. Just a great start. Gremlin Knob is a little bit scary for us, but I'm not super worried about it. To be honest. Um, we do have two recursions coming up next turn. So if we do 12 plus 12 here, that's 24. 24 is going to put him at 51 HP. These are both going to scale up to 18, but then they're also going to scale an additional time because we will definitely be taking damage here. And if we let them scale an additional time, um, if we let them scale an additional time, 
If we let them scale an additional time, it'll be 24 plus 24, which will not be lethal. But if we draw the cold snap next turn, that will be lethal. So there's an option that we have here. We do want to play double recursion no matter what, but we only have a five out of six chance next turn to draw both of the cards. So we could cool headed here and hope that we draw one of these three cards here. Well, I know because we it has to be one of these three cards. Otherwise, we die. Um, so it is a hard choice. Otherwise, we will most definitely die. It's either we draw one this turn or we draw one next turn. Is there any way that we can get out of it? Does, does using a power help us at all? Let's think about it. What power could help us here? If you get plus one, plus one, buffer. No, you don't want buffer because you want the emotion trip, emotion chip to trigger. So you don't want buffer because this is any time that you lose HP. Um, you want the emotion chip to trigger. Yeah, buffer next turn could help. That's true. But if you take the power next turn, electrodynamics, does electrodynamics get us there? Electrodynamics next turn gets us there. So I think the consensus is if, if we want to use power potion, it should be next turn. Or if we get an echo form, echo form could definitely help us next turn. Um, bias cognition could help. I think the worst power or the, the even hello world could help this turn. Could a loop help this turn? Possibly. Yeah. This is a, this is a tough turn. My analytical genius is being tested. My analytical genius is being tested. My issue is, is if you don't play cool headed this turn, you can't use the cold snap next turn to evoke an orb. So is drawing good here because of that? If you draw here and you draw either this recursion or you draw cold snap, you need to use your power potion this turn to look for some sort of like biased cog, something like that, um, or an echo form. But if you don't draw into any of these, if you draw one of these three, if you draw one of these three, then I think you're good. So I think you do draw here. Good draw. Okay. And now we should have lethal. Yes. Nice. We got a toy or an adopter, and chat now gets to select one of these three cards. I couldn't imagine what card they're, they're going to think is really good here. Um, yeah, I think that out of all of these cards, I think that um, you could tell there with us wanting to use the power potion. It's just a, a noticeable strain on the deck that it doesn't have enough powers. So I think, therefore, the only obvious choice is to take a creative AI. <clears throat> this is going to be really nice, though. It's going to allow us to heal. We have a 50% chance here of running into... Here we are. We have a 50% chance here to running into Log of Vulin, which could actually be really, really good for us. So it, it, we should consider upgrading. I don't think it's very high. It's only because we have these, these powers. We have a 50% chance of running into Log of Vulin, a 50% chance of running into Tri-Centuries. And with Motion Chip, it's going to make uh, our Frost Orbs a lot more effective once we deal with one of the Sentries. Um, but I do still think we're going to rest here just out of safety. Because I'm a scared little baby. And I want this to be good YouTube content. I hope you guys understand. Pee pee poo poo chat make frost take a boo boo fart. Fart, yes. I agree completely. Fart. Fart, yes. Peepo G's in chat, fart please. All right, here he comes. He wakes up after the third turn. He's going to be doing 20 damage right off the bat. We do have our upgraded recursion in hand. So we can do one of these. Then do one of these. And then bring this guy back. And then do one of these. We'll be blocking for just enough. It's okay if we take just a little bit of damage. But we immediately, from the creative AI that was so expertly given us to from chat. Wow, what an amazing Twitch chat. Um, get a bias cog on a nice turn that we can now use. And have a bunch of block. Because my chat is just so incredibly smart. Would you look at that? We could also here, we have a pretty high chance, I think, of getting a potion. I'm going to go ahead and pop this, even though it's not going to get any use. We could have used it in, in a better order. I don't think it'll matter all that much. But uh, 
I'm going to use that there because I would like to uh, have a, another potion slot open. Let's use a recursion here. And then we use one of these. And then we just hit him again. And boom, he's dead. We got five more HP back. We do get another potion. We also get the emerald key. One of the three keys to access the heart fight. Uh, we do get a letter opener with a bunch of spells in the deck, especially as we upgrade them. Just going to get better and better. Now chat gets another tough choice here. Another rare card available. Of course, I think that like... A lot of people were saying in chat, how are we going to be able to play creative AI without a lot more energy? And I think the best way to get more energy in this specific sense, since we're being given the option right now in front of us on the table at the moment, is definitely to take a, a meteor strike since it makes three plasma orbs so that you can get a lot more energy. I will now say, chat, if we get offered Sneko Eye at the boss, I will gift 10 subs for you to take it. All right, here we come to a fork in the road. We can decide to go to a campfire, or we can decide to pivot onto a path for a potential elite fight. We are at 46 HP with a lot of potions sitting in hand, but we could be fighting Gremlin Knob again. And I think with the thought of Gremlin Knob happening again, I'm going to dodge. Bag of prep, fantastic. This is a weird glitch. This has never happened in Slay the Spire. Yeah, if we're just choosing what boss we get to kill, I would definitely choose Slime Boss. I think it's the correct choice. If you can keep it at exactly 69 votes, that'd be even cooler. Yikes. I think upgrading our recursions to making them cost zero is definitely going to make our lives a lot easier. We're going to be able to block for a lot more, deal a lot more damage. We can do one of these. And then you can do one of these. Then you do one of these. And you hit him with one of these. And definitely hit him with one of these. Splitting them. Hit him with a letter opener as well. Careful there, man. It's sharp. This is so bad. What are you doing, Chad? What are you doing, man? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh, whoops. Nice. Taking him down. Moving on. We do have a couple of cards here that are extremely interesting. One of them would make it a little bit easier for us to play a specific card in our deck or a specific couple of cards, and that would be Turbo. Yeah. Um, I think it would be very, very nice to add the additional energy to our deck, especially since we have a couple of cool headeds. Maybe now the recursions aren't as good of upgrades, but maybe more cool headeds are better upgrades so that we can get to better cards in our deck. Exactly 69 votes. <laughs> as a scholar and a gentleman, that's pretty nice. Uh, Whetstone's pretty cool to upgrade just a couple of cards. We have three potential or four potential things that it could hit. Let's see what it gets. Nice, a little strike upgrades. We could go to the shop here and remove a bad card that we've added to the deck. Any of the cards. Don't know what we would remove here. But I think it might be better if we get two upgrades before the boss fight. Namely, like I said, those two cool headeds. Not that bad of a fight coming in here. We do have the availability of a fun combo here. We're going to play the turbo like we just said we would. Then use it to get three orbs. Which will then allow us to... Kill things. Taking one damage. Not that big of a deal. Gonna trigger our motion chip. Gain us an additional energy. There's a card. There is one card here that I'm looking at. Do you hear that? It's the nut alarm going off. I think right now a defragment would be an exceptional addition to this deck. I will say the... 10 subs to take a Sneko Eye is now extended to a Runic Pyramid as well with the addition of the Turbo. Honestly, would be preferred if we get the option of both. Definitely a key upgrade here. Could really use a... Oh, oh chat. Chat. Did anybody put cocaine in the Slime Boss's coffee today? What did you do, man? All right, let's draw here. Let's do one of these. I think we could get away with a really good power potion as well. Yep. Very good. Yep. Letter opened. Oh 
might get hit with this hit here, honestly. Not really that opposed to it. Straight up. We block for 15 still. Emotion chip. What the hell, man? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I would say a pretty good split there. No, I don't think we need the AI, personally. All right, a pretty good fight, if I do say so myself. We get the option of a fission, an all for one, or a core surge. One of these I feel like is probably really good with a lot of the more expensive cards than we have in the deck um, that will allow us to get them off more consistently with the expensive energy cards that we have in the deck. One of these cards will be really good for the energy cards costs of our deck. And that would be Fission, of course. It's, it's obvious. It's an obvious choice. Not even a close decision. Not even a, not even a close call there, really. Chad, why would you pick Busted Crown? Chad, if you pick Busted Crown, you don't get to select any more cards. You think about that for a second. It takes away all of the fun for you. <laughs> just think about it. Just think about it, man. I understand that, like, it sounds like a fun meme, but it ruins the game not for you. Or not for me. It ruins it for you. <laughs> That was exactly 69 votes for Tiny House. I could not be more proud. We get the addition of one more card. A scaling block card, perhaps? That does seem to like the idea of a scaling block card. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry I'm late, Professor. I was Hello. pooping. It was a big poop. really good man letter opener is going to be great in this fight very happy to have it fission is going to be a necessary upgrade i'm looking at a path that has a few more campfires because we have a lot of cards that could uh very very much use an upgrade so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and attack one of these guys that is thinking about flying how dare he how dare you think about flying high oh track thank you for continuing with the gifted sub Okay. Ooh, that's a really good power to have found. Definitely for sure, maybe. Especially if we can load up on a bunch of these. You, you load up on a bunch of these so that as they hit you, you gain more block. It's actually a really, really good idea. See? Pretty good idea, huh? Oops. Tristan, chat, I bid you farewell. I am off to make more money to throw at the stream. See ya. Snack oil, not going to be the one we want here. Now chat has the option of three more cards. Whether they even want these or not, that's even up in the air. That's a thought that we can have here is, do you even want any of these cards at all? Are any of these cards actually useful for the the the, com the continuation of the deck? And I am going to agree with Chad here and say that the answer is no. I mean, I'm agreeing with them. I taught them everything that they know. So obviously they're making the correct decisions every single time. I am officially right now and uh, uh, always um, putting my stamp of for approval on all of the decisions the before they even made. I was not sub -ed anymore. Gratch, thank you for the 22. Uh -huh. That's a hot number of subs. Choosing one of 20 cards to add to the deck or healing for 15. Not really in, in chance of dying here with these kind of potions with a toy or an adopter. So I'm definitely going to take one of 20 cards. Now I get to choose this card, which is a weird thing. Even with my two broken hands, I I get to choose what card I would like to take here. Um, Here's a card that chat seems to like. I seem to like the card of uh, or the idea of, of a specific card. I think I think that we can safely say that uh, heat sinks would be the best here. Reading a book, chat. I you know with my two broken hands, I'm unable to read. But can you read? Yes or no? Can I get a a yes or no in chat? Can you read? It does seem like chat can read.
Wow, you're... Oh my god, oh my god, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Look at it! All right, we've come across our first shop where chat gets to decide what they would like to do. You'll notice a mysterious poll coming up on screen where there are numbers next to the things. You can vote just like you do in chat. Type in whatever number you think uh, you would like to do. It seems that chat is really very much wanting to buy a relic first. Huh. So, what, would you, what relic would you like to buy? All right, it seems that chat would like to buy a <clears throat> Matroshka. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. Hold on, I need to make one little adjustment so that black screen stopped happening. Okay, so chat would like to buy something else. I'm going to assume that it's a card. I'm going to look at all the cards that would be a potential buy here. Yeah, I do I do believe that a blizzard would be a very strong idea here in this situation. So we're going to take a blizzard. And it also looks like chat kind of wants to remove a card. What the fuck are you trying to remove, man? <laughs> I'm not going to remove. I'm not. I'm, I'm finishing the poll. We're not removing any cards. Okay. We're moving on. Dude, I think we fight. I think you straight up, you come into this in this in this fight, you do one of these. You you get ready to you get ready to throw down. Give me a draw. Get him bear. You could attack bear here. That's not a bad choice. Since we didn't draw any of our good attacks. Attacking bear here. I think using both potions for this fight, not a bad bet. This is 8 damage in AoE versus 5 damage with the boot sequence. This hand kind of sucks. Nonsense. Who would say such a thing? Who would say that this hand sucks, huh? Not me. We just need to play one more spell. Or one of these. And then one of these. Not bad. We did use both of our potions, maybe a little bit recklessly. We do have the option here of an upgraded sweeping beam. An upgraded sweeping beam. Chat seems to be gravitating towards a fusion initially. Don't really know where that's coming from. I mean, actually, I think the fusion would be really good for this. I don't actually think... I think a sweeping beam would be way better, um, to be honest. I think that, you know, it's a close call here between one or the other. A, a sweeping beam is going to be... What I wanted in my deck. Let's go ahead and fight this elite. Here we get Book of Stab. Book of Scab, more like. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. That was good. That was a good time. We have a good time here. We do have a good time here, right? Nice. That's a 12 damage, or we can start building this guy up. I think you smacked him with a 12 spot. <laughs> Blizzard kind of OP. It's true. It's true. Taking one damage here, perfectly calculated. Oh no. <laughs> you got you, you can't play the blizzard here because we unfortunately drew the void. I'm so proud of us. Are you proud of yourself for crafting this deck, champ? Not bad, man. Held up pretty well. We get a Juzu bracelet, so we know that going into question marks isn't going to be dangerous anymore. There is a good card here. Yeah, and I think that that good card is going to be 
A biased claw, claw, biased cog. It's gonna be biased cog. I'm gonna take a claw. I'm actually gonna biased cog here. And I think the reason for the biased cog is because we definitely are focusing on a lot of focus in this deck. Uh, so I definitely want to be uh, running with the biased cog. You can tell that the amount of votes for it is just the correct number of votes. Um, Jesus, man. Jesus, man. I do believe that we probably are going to be okay with upgrading. I don't think we'll take 33 damage in any upcoming fight. Going to get that fission nice and upgraded here. Got a couple of fires coming up as well. Hopefully for a potion this turn. Big regen potion or something like that. Bias Clog is my favorite card in the game. Same. Ow, did you hear that little noise in the back? What the hell is that? Could play that for five damage. I'm going to say no. Big Fission play here. You could go for the double tap on that. I'm going to aim for... Instead of the double tap on that, I'm going to aim for a little bit more block. Taking 1D so that we get the uh, extra proc here. I'm going to go for a Darkness Orb. Don't worry, our, our Blizzard is getting huge. Trap. Huge, man, I say. Huge. We really could use a... Capacitor is what I was going to say. Look at that. A weak potion. As you can tell with our orbs continuing to scale rapidly into the stratosphere, there's only one choice here that even interests me in the slightest, and that would be a second edition of Defragment to the deck, especially with two good campfires coming up immediately in front of us. What an excellent choice, Twitch chat. Zell, thank you for the follow. Lil Ducky, thank you for the 11 months. Banka, thank you for the follow. And again, we're going to go this path with a couple more campfires so that we can get some necessary upgrades going on. Ooh, ornamental fan's pretty good, I think. Also get a dream catcher. Again, this glitch with the bosses coming up. Again, the dark orb scaling. Definitely going to be a nice, nice thing, especially with the creative AI. You kind of get to play at your own pace against the champ. A lot of recursions will allow us to keep that dark orb cycling. It's going to be nice. And the blizzard scaling, of course, our main damage of the deck. Okay. Let's grab a quick upgrade of that second defrag. Definitely want that. 75 gold to remove a card in this deck. Are we one recursion too heavy, chat? I think we remove an unupgraded one. And then we could upgrade the last one here. I also do not mind the idea of upgrading our darkness. I also don't mind the idea of resting here. Resting might be a good choice. Um, it is going to be an AoE fight, though, and we do do pretty well with Doodoo. Doodoo. We get a rest so that you can get another card. <laughs> I think we're okay to upgrade. I'm going to go balls in here, man. I'm going to go balls deep. I think Heat Sinks is a good upgrade. I think Blizzard's a good upgrade. I think Bias Kong is a good upgrade. I think Darkness is a good upgrade. I think Turbo is a pretty good upgrade. Blizz? All right. You know what? I'm going with chat. Most people I saw were saying Blizzard. I think it'll do great in this deck. Or in this fight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm listening. Yes, hello. Hello. Fifty percent chance that he's gonna be attacking next turn. He's not going to because he's a fucking giant pussy. So, it's pretty good for us, I think. I'm going to opt for a little bit of damage with the letter opener and the more procs on the blizzard so we can guarantee to kill his minions pretty quickly. Still not attacking again. What a giant puss. And we kill all of his minions expertly. Watch this. You ready? Boom. Now I think we could probably even double play this. Getting a kunai proc in the process. <laughs> You're a giant pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what the hell, man? <laughs> Bro, that's a 20% chance of happening. That's not, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> what the hell? It's a good thing we drew our one unupgraded recursion. I'm really happy about that one. What a freaking hacker, dude. 
What a freaking hacker, man. Symbiotic virus. Amazing, though. I also agree that uh, all of these cards are dog shit. Mm -hmm. Hello, I have 16 health. Hey. How's it going, guys? So if you do 20 damage, if you do 20 damage to this guy, she's going to heal the next turn. So we know that she's going to heal here. She's also going to die first just out of happenstance. There's not really a whole lot we can do about that. So we do need to try to kill her and then go as fast as possible to kill this guy because he will get very mad. He likes his waifu very much. Yo, what up? I can't believe you sold out to Blizzard SMH. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. He got mad. We didn't care. Plus, we're... I think it's a good rest here. And of course, I was... Uh, turns out that sometimes us scholars in the professional industry are indeed wrong. And uh, I would like to admit that I was the first to ever uh, admit that I was wrong. And I was wrong. I do think that we needed that unupgraded recursion in the deck above all else. Yeah, I would like it back. Hello, David. David! Sorry, that was my best impression of the guy in the jumper movie. Did you guys like it? Did you guys like my jumper impression? Was it good? No, I'm sorry. All right, we have an echo form. I actually don't think that I, like, unironically, I don't think that I've had an echo form deck in a really, really long time. I got that. forgot what happened in Jumper. Is that the one about the piece of clothing? Yeah, I think this, so. This is what passes for content these days. Hey, Andrew. You really think it's as simple as me adding in I Am The Storm? Oh, this. This may have been a bad idea. Good content. We're going to get four powers at the start of every single turn. Well, what about six powers? I'm, I'm going to avoid taking damage if I can. This is going to get clunky. Nonsense. This is good. Finally, we get some fucking recursions, man. Or some fucking capacitors. Okay. This is nice. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. We're almost to the point that we'll kill him. Almost. We'll get there. We'll get there.
YouTube. Boys. Hey. This content that you're watching right now has officially been given the Twitch chat seal of awesome content that you should come Dude, our watch Blizzard's doing 40. Boom! It's a good thing we had that blizzard in that deck. That was a close call, man. Close call. Such a close call, man. So, you know, a lot of people would think that it's probably really, really good in this situation to have a seek in the deck. And I am actually I'm actually inclined to agree with that point. So I think I'm gonna probably put a um a core surge in the a seek in in the a course i'm going to probably go i think the contrary to popular opinion i am going to be putting a seek in the deck yeah i think a seek in this deck would go really really well a seek being added to this deck yeah yes very much so we do get the choice of some energy relics here and i do think that this deck probably would very much like a nuclear battery yeah again like i think that the best energy relic in the entire game is probably until the watcher came out and then it's just literally the watcher is the best energy relic in the game uh, i think that the nuclear battery is probably the best energy relic in the game yeah <laughs> fusion hammer so he has to rest more and we get to pick more cards <laughs> that's a good meme that's a good meme all right we do not need to take the Burning Elite. We could go for a quick shop. Quick shop. I do see a path with two Elites. See a path that way with two Elites and a lot of fights. If we can get a Mummified Hand, that would be pretty sick. Yeah. Okay. Turn one looking pretty good here. We get both of these off. We get one of those. We are going to take two damage. Check this out. Did you see it? I really don't think that we need any more cards additionally added to this deck of this kind of caliber. No really like common cards are going to jump out to me and say that we really need them except the recursion. I definitely think that a recursion is going to be exactly... Uh, the type of addition to the deck that I would like, except that I'm not actually going to take it because I'm instead going to skip it. But actually, I'm going to take it, but I'm actually going to skip it. I'm going to skip it, I think. I think the final decision that I have in uh, my, my massive amount of knowledge that I have is that I'm going to skip it. I want to go to as many question mark rooms as possible to possibly get the uh, Mind Bloom event. We do like Mind Blooming. We could add three cards to the deck, but do I trust my Twitch chat to add the best three cards to this deck? No. So, chat, you get to add one card to the last snow. I've taught you a lot about the defect, but have I taught you enough about colorless cards? Is the question. Yeah, Discovery, I do think we'd be pretty good. You can get a good card every now and then. Maybe an energy card, maybe a draw card if you need more stuff. Duplicate a card in the deck? What do you think we should duplicate? I think there's a lot of good options here. I think a uh, genetic algorithm could be really good. I think a fission defrag could be good. Another seek, so you could uh, seek a seek a seek a seek. I think if you, I think if you, if the seek was upgraded, I would definitely go seek. Like without a fucking doubt, I would, I would, uh, I would, I would upgrade seek. But I think without it being upgraded, I would say no. Necronomic curse. That's an interesting one for sure. I think a, a fission plus is probably exactly what I would like to, to out of these cards. Again, if it was seek plus, it would be without a question. Okay. This is an interesting one. <sighs> Chat, do I trust you to make good decisions? <laughs> I don't know if I do. An echo form. Chat, I will take the second echo form if you promise. You have to promise me something. You won't select. You won't select. As long as you don't select Woke Bird as the boss. If the second boss is Woke Bird, you can't control that. Deal? Okay. I take the second echo form here because I think it's the best card that we could possibly add to the deck in this current moment. Uh, do I want to remove an unupgraded recursion? Yeah, I really don't think that I, um, <laughs> a, uh, an unupgraded recursion is exactly what we need in the deck right now. Um, so I think I'm just going to remove it for now. 
and just move on down the line, try to find better stuff. <laughs> I'm going to take four max HP loss, usually the easier option there. Let's grab a quick upgrade on our Seek. We could take a zero elite path. <laughs> Chad, do you guys want to take a zero elite path and get some upgrades? I think our deck's good, man. I think this deck's good. No. <laughs> okay. Be honest. Do you realize that it's... It, it, is it because you think it's the better choice? Because you want to get Mama Fine Hand? Or is it because you want to pick more cards? Just be honest with me. We'll go for the elites. Just be honest. Yeah, we can go this way. I think this will be fine. I don't think we're in danger at all. I'm going to go ahead and use this so we get one less wound added to the deck. This guy will be easy to kill with our letter opener. Mm -mm -mm. What do we want to draw here? Maybe an echo form and a fission. Maybe a doom and gloom and a fission. I'm going to go ahead and use the fission here. We do happen to find yet. Oh, I could have used the turbo actually to kill that guy. Misplay, misplay, Tristan, misplay. You dumb fucking streamer idiot. Check this out, chat. <laughs> it's back. Let's get a discovery. Ooh, on a reboot, that would be very nice. And another heat sinks. Yeah, 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 of course. So I can play my echo form again. Yeah, 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 that's obvious. Everyone knew that. So that I can play the meteor strike tw twice again. Yeah. All right, Chad, what do you think is the best card out of these three? Again, I am drinking out of my arcane League of Legends bug. And what do you guys think about, what do you think about arcane? It's how happy you are, right? how excited you want to party you are when you think about arcane the very upbeat and happy story of arcane wow oh wow when i think of arcane do i just want to party Bum, 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 bum. How many of you guys are attacking? Two. I really liked the Doom and Gloom combo where we do this. It's very nice. All right, out of these three cards, don't really think we need to scrape necessarily. Don't have a lot of zero-cost cards. Deck is thick, but stack's a little bit clunky. Compile Driver Plus, though, as another additive of draw, could be very, very good. But again, I don't think it'd be that good because we probably just want to skip here instead. Um, no, actually, I do think we want to take a Compile Driver the more that we think about it. But what if we skipped it instead? I think skipping actually might be a lot better. And, and it... Never mind. I think we should skip it. All right, here comes the final... <clears throat> What a fucking chest. What a fucking chest. Chad. Chad. Wait. Chad, we... Chad! Those of you with a couple of extra spending bucks, go back in the chat log, see anyone that voted hashtag two, and feel free to extradite them. Feel free to take them the fuck out, man. Take them the heck out of here. Get a deal, dude. Mm -hmm. 
You're still doing 33 after all that. How much do you do? 15. So if we smack you with one of these. Doing 18 now. Dang. Yo. Throw me one of these. Thank you for banning. All right, Darkness Orbs with Recursion should be good enough to take us through this fight, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Damn, Chad, you guys are going for blood, huh? Are we dying in this fight? Like, actually? What the fuck? Should be good now. Maybe. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Is it Arky? Did Arky come back to ban everybody? You know, as late as it is into this fight, into this run, into this spire, I do believe that uh, we, we really just don't need any other additional cards in the deck at this current moment that I can see on the screen right now. How do you check how many you have? Type exclamation point tokens. And if you don't see it in chat, I'll send you a DM on Twitch. Hello, Nemesis. I'd like to get an echo form off here if possible. Okay. Hmm. Could probably take this. Block this turn. Hmm. You don't need to play that, right? This will make you take one. I'm fine with taking one. You recursion, and then you do one of these. So you can do this. So you can do this. How good am I at this game, Chad? Go ahead and tell me. The tokens get reset. They reset at the uh, after 12 hours. So, yes. Boom. Boom. Get on. Don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. What does a band do? Just times you out. A gamba? Gamba? Chad, I do think I actually uh, hear there might be... Um, um, I think that there might be a specific 
yellow card that I would like to take. It's called Meteor Strike, and I think it would be great here, especially with the addition of Necronomicon, making every single t card that, uh, every single turn, the first card Can that you play the cost two extra play Echo twice. Mm, 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 mm. Purple Bonfire Spirits. Uh, depending on what you give here, you get a, a small little buff. If you give a golden card, you get plus max HP. If you get an uncommon card, you get full HP. Common card, nothing. And a curse, you give it, you get poop. Uh, you know, actually, I think we give it darkness. I think you give it darkness. I think darkness has served its time. And it's time to let Doom and Gloom run the, run the this show. This is the worst claw deck I've ever seen. What does poop do? Gives you a minus one score. Boom. 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 I think the meteor strike's probably far better since we have a second meteor strike now. So that we can do this. And it plays meteor strike three times. I think that's pretty good. Do one of these. Do one of these. Where's the Tempest when you need it? It was up your butt, you know. Boom, boom, boom. We had Blizzard in hand, didn't use it. We cannot get enough energy to play this. F. My life is over. Dave Cena, thank you for the eight months, man. Looks like I came to drop my monthly prime just at the right time. Hope I you're agree. well. YouTube hope you're content well well. has been popping off. Thank you. That's what you want to hear, man. Can I check this out. 38 damage, Blizzard. Oh my God. Jesus. Thank you for the eight months, man. I'm glad you liked the video so far. Now we just gotta figure out how the fuck to kill this guy. Where's my blizzard? Thirty-eight damage blizzard is now gonna deal seventy-two damage. What? It's insane. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> We've had thirty-three cards in the deck for a very long time. Chat immediately gravitates towards the gain two focus, lose an orb slot. Is it literally because we just had a lot of orbs? You realize that most fights we don't, right? Most fights we don't have a lot of orbs, and therefore that consume is relatively useless. I mean, useful, because I am agreeing with all the decisions that they make. Never mind, it's really, really good. Highly agree with it. Very much agree. Travel to the boss portal immediately. I do need the key, so I'm so sorry I can't. <laughs> Damn. So sorry, I have to decline. Uh, there might be a way that we can get off that meteor strike. That would be a way. I'm gonna be focusing Dekka here so we don't get those dazes in our deck. Don't like those. Dude, we could play our consume. I actually think what we really want is another meteor strike. Possibly even a recursion. I'm going to bring back creative AI so we make sure that we get that in play. 
to play that. Don't feel like I'm going to take a whole lot of damage here, other than the seven that I just took. So I'm taking three more damage because I think it's tacti tactically right to do that. Yeah. I don't think I want to play... I don't think I want to play the, the storm. I don't think I want to. Ah, fuck this, it. This is what passes for content these days. You really think it's as simple as me adding in I am the storm? And just like that, Andrew oh, comes through with the big swing in a big way. Good job. And the storm has brought the completion of the fight. Please, 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 please. please. <laughs> <laughs> There is no reason that I'm breathing heavily here. There's no reason that I'm breathing heavily. It's actually just uh cuz I have a cold. So is it That's that's all that it is, really. That's not good. Ow, what the fuck? That's turn 2, man. <laughs> Where's my genetic algorithm? Ow. You frick! And now I get that, of course. Yeah, now. After all of that, I agree, yeah. Okay. It's weird having Frost not insult us as much. Would you prefer I went back to insulting you more, chat? You can be honest. This is not good. Are we going to be able to play only one card next turn? Yep. <laughs> It's okay, we have a buffer, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. What if I'm just not in the mood to being that mean? What if I would like to be a nicer person? What if I'm trying to do what the YouTube comments ask and not be such a, such a fucking asshole, as they say? Fuck YouTube. I mean, true. Good take. Good take. I don't know what 14 times 3 even is. We are exactly 240. Which doesn't proc him, interestingly enough. Dead, mother... Fucker! Alright. Fourteen times three isn't a real number. Hmm. Interesting that you'd say something so brave. Alright. Chat here, do you think that it is tactically better to rest and get an additional card? Or to upgrade one of our current cards into being a better card? <clears throat> Why are you just typing yep? You're just typing yep. You don't even know. <laughs> just, half of you guys are just typing yep. It doesn't it doesn't prove your competence in anything. All right. I think the best upgrade here is probably our turbo. We've definitely been needing it upgraded for a while. Hey, upgrading echo form could be worth it in some capacity. I think a skim here could be pretty fucking cool. I think a skim and possibly removing consume. We could also take a good potion here. 
Can like consume is good once we get rolling, but it's not good before we get rolling, and I need things that are good before I get rolling. Why well, I, I I for some reason in my head I was like, it's good to keep Blizzard on turn one. <laughs> this is it's a good choice to do that. Yes. Hmm, yes. Very much so, yes. Like my brain just d decided it didn't want to function today, I guess. I subbed offline. Hey. Welcome to subbing online. How does that make you feel? You want to talk about it? I don't think we play the genetic algorithm here. Maybe we do? No, we have a good chance of being able to draw back into it next turn with a seek. Yeah. You think we just fucking play double bias cog here? Just go fucking nuts? Where is Frost's neck? Okay. Uncalled for thing you just said there. If you have no attacks, draw two. Well, we do. We do kind of have a couple of attacks in our hand. <laughs> Unfortunately. I think... Let me take this. But I think you do this. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Taking a little bit of damage here. Just a little bit, you know? Just a little bit of damage. How do I get more... How do I... Hmm. I think we're dead. <laughs> I think we're dead. Owie. Not dead this turn. Very much owie. This is the worst turn to have drawn this. Wow, incredible, dude. Okay. We're good this turn right now. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't turn around. 